uh, let's look at another. My second favorite, Czar. I'll get to gold, I'll get to GJ, I'll get to some other stuff in a minute. This is a perfect example. You got the lagging line above the cloud, which is very thin. You got a red candle forming and it wicked the cloud, but the cloud itself is green. So I'm on a one minute, this is Czar, and we're, we're, just, we're just jumping in real quick to see something. It's crazy how much it's working against the cloud right now, but that's because it could be a pullback. Let's see. And very well on the higher time frame, you can see that the bulls have more momentum. Again, this is a pullback and it's due for another pullback. If you can understand pullbacks and all of those type of formations, you can trade at any direction at any pair. They all do the same thing. They're going to pull back. They're going to move. They're going to trick you out. They're going to fake you out, all that stuff. The cloud's about to twist as it's gaining some momentum here. And now that the lagging line is broken out of the cloud, I can then focus the direction of what I want to do. Now, I don't want to lean you into which way to trade. I just want you to understand that the lagging line helps you to know direction. So does the cloud. You bring this all together with time frames and hopefully an educator and hopefully someone else trading it with you. Now, based on this breakout and the formation here and this crazy momentum, plus my signal line, remember the, uh, let me uh, thicken the conversion line here. The conversion line is also a signal when a candle open and closes below to get in. And once you see cloud multiple time frames or at least you notice on the higher time frame oh, okay i'm getting in the pullback okay no worries and you see the lagging line break through now you have confirmation on top of confirmation see most of you don't have enough confirmation you just take trades and then you make money you lose money you make money you lose money and you're in this perpetual state of i need money and you trade this way and your emotions throw you out of the game when I said leave it on the field earlier, that don't mean do ignorant things, right? That doesn't mean to force and rush anything. I prefer this lagging line to break even past the market. The cloud is one thing, but get it past the market too, because this is a floor. This is a floor. So I need everything beyond this floor. Some of you would have been, oh, I'm going to get in that right now. Yeah, well, this area is a floor. The next floor is here, which potentially it could get to. However, I needed to break that floor before I enter anything. And again, I focus highly on the one minute because if I see a buy or a sell on a, on a higher time frame, you're getting in on the one minute regardless if you like it or not. A smarter move would be setting stops, buy and sell stops at um, higher points of the market outside of the spread and then you'll get a delayed entrance which is safer much more safer um and i used to trade that way actually a ton and that's how in the beginning i got going and then i started to be impatient and that's what made me uh, or led me i should say didn't make me led me to trade on the one minute so fyi don't feel like you know you're having to trade like me, you can do exactly whatever in the world that works for you. And I would encourage you to take your time. Now I'm going to look at one more pair and then I'm going to take whatever pairs that you guys and gals are looking at um, for the most part.